guys, welcome back to some more Eternal Evolution. Today we're over on our YouTube account and we are looking at the notes that are coming up. That is right, guys. The notice is up. Eternal Evolution will undergo, undergo maintenance, which means we are getting a new hero. That is right, the new hero, Bada, will be up. She is an SSS level. When a first support hero sing, skilled in single target healing and party buffs. So adding another support hero in this game, absolutely huge, guys. Um, Right now, I only have Serena and I have Liran. They're really the only two um, that I've been able to really get used, used to because the SSS heroes, of course, a lot more difficult to build. I do not have the other support hero built at all. I've only gotten one single copy of the other hero. So super, super excited to get and see that new support hero. Now, new Rise of Hero is coming with Kalaza. Now, Kalaza, I already have an Immortal, which means I am gonna farm some of the um, cores out of here, some of the orbs, so I can build up a lot of the other SSS heroes that I got, not focusing on getting more copies of him because again, I already have a ton of copies. New season of the Summit Arena is coming. The buff um, heroes, the season rewards, and server groups are changing, so there is gonna be a lot of changes in there. Limited recruitment event opens on the servers. You'll be able to get Boda, which is the new one, Omar and Liran, so interesting they put Omar in there. I'm not a big fan overall looking at the heroes, but Boda, I want to see exactly how well he or she is going to do. So we have a new limited recruitment event that is coming. Another new limited recruitment event will open on some servers. You'll be able to get Emma, Randall, and Oak. Now, Randall and Oak, again, not too keen on their builds. Um, I have Oak built up quite a bit. I have Randall built up to Immortal. Um, overall, again, not super impressive. Now, when it comes to Emma, Emma is the best single target damage in this game, guys. It is crazy the damage that she can put out. So again, out of these two, it's going to be tough because I would love to get a copy of Boda depending on how she comes in. Also, I would love to get a lot more copies of Emma. I just picked up a copy not too long ago out of the, um, the event that we had going on. So very, very cool to see. New details gathering event will open on servers. Main rewards of the event change to Oak copies. So again, unfortunately, it is going to be copies of Oak. Um, they need to rework the tanks within this game, guys. Really one of the biggest downfalls. Um, Vanguards work incredibly well in the tanking role. We have Leo, we have Crete, we have Artis. Um, depending on the prototypes you put on there, works incredibly well in the tanking function. Overall, looking at Oak and even our SSS tank, I think it's our our our, our Reza or our I, I forget exactly um the name. I only have one copy. Don't use it. But overall, guys, even building up the guild specifics, very very difficult when it comes to the tanking role in here. Also, do have some optimizations right down here. Um, adjusted the rewards of the monthly pass. After the update, both the basic and the advanced will be removed, while a new version of both will be added. So changing it up a little bit, after buying the new basic and monthly pass, you'll receive the corresponding daily rewards from the date of purchase. If you repeatedly buy the basic and monthly pass, the remaining effective date will be extended up to 90 days. Now this is something that we see similar in other games. It will just extend the duration so you make sure that it does not expire that you're not missing either of those passes. After the update, both the basic monthly path and the advanced monthly path will not be available for purchase, but the daily rewards um, will continue till it runs out to the effective date. Regardless of whether the basic monthly pass is still in effect, you can buy the new basic path. So if you get the basic, the new basic, the advanced, the new advanced, um, you could actually get a insane amount of rewards out of those passes. Um, that are going to overlap at the same time, especially if you buy it for 90 days, guys. If you hop in there and you buy essentially the basic and the advance for the next 90 days, patch drops, you get the new, um, the new versions of both of those. You can buy them again for another 90 days. You can be running four monthly passes for 90 days, which is kind of incredible to see. So fixed issues where the golden like icon was identified in wrong, wrong objects in the quiz on the summit arena. Fixed display issues where the red dot prompt would not disappear after registering in summit arena. Um, seems like they're changing a lot of things and they're really fixing a lot of bugs. Fixed display issues within the ring agreed in the construction blueprint. Fix some multilingual issues in the power of twilight. That's it for the main content. So there is going to be more guys um, that is coming. If you haven't hopped over on the score, there is 
always, always content codes coming up. There's been so many codes to this game, guys. It has been pretty incredible to see how many codes have come up. Now, again, we were talking a little bit about the battle order. Everything actually just reset. I'm a little bit disappointed that I'm not going to be able to get any cards out of here. But one thing I did want to show you guys is building out Daniel. So most of you know I've been focused kind of on um, a couple different aspects of this game, including the summoning aspect. So overall, guys, I just want to show you I, I'm running Daniel with Senway. Both of them do a lot of damage. Now, in this battle specifically, I can actually have um, Taylor hop over and kill the ad. But watch the damage that Daniel puts out in here, guys. It is pretty incredible going through here to see with the wear air. Now, I have continued to build him up. We're using the summoning commander in here, which means, of course, we are going to be doing quite a bit more damage in here. But overall, guys, Daniel has been impressive with the damage. I finally got him to Immortal. I built him up, but look at it, guys. Look at how absolutely crazy, crazy fast um, the damage boost, plus having the wear bear up is continuous damage. So he is actually busting and burning down the shield super, super fast when you have Daniel in the formation. Um, working in all the bosses, I'm actually seeing this again across a lot of different bosses. So I have a couple heroes to Immortal, and look at the damage that he is doing, guys. It's insane. It, it is insane, the damage that he is putting out here, guys. Burning down bosses so fast. And again, with this Werebear, guys, this shield just literally gets melted because it is continuous AoE damage that the Werebear is doing. And as you can see, the bear is staying up a majority of the time, um, which is crazy. It is absolutely crazy, guys, especially where I have him built. Um, we're doing a lot more damage with the bear. We have to max out the um, exclusive item to actually get the duration of the bear even longer. So again, guys, it, it is crazy. And of course, the game froze like it always does. But look at that, guys. 29 million. He is at 17%. We would have dropped him very, very fast. Let me restart this and we'll try it one more time. All right, guys, so I tried it again. We got to about the same point. And looking here, we were at 252 when the other video ended. Um, he has even done more damage in this iteration um, than he literally just did in the last battle that we had. So 35 million damage, guys. Crazy. Absolutely insane. He, what, we got 10, 20, 26, 28. He is literally doing... Three, I mean, almost as much as the other three heroes combined or over the other three heroes combined. It is crazy building them out, guys. Um, I'm going to show you where I have them built because, again, I, I wanted to build them. I wanted to focus on the summoners. I felt like he is going to be very, very strong. I'm going to continue to actually build him up. He's at 194 right now. We can actually add another level on there. Equipment-wise, we're still looking for, as you can see, guys, um, one of the hero edges, we, we need to get a strong, strong weapon in here, which is going to boost up his damage. But then here, the Black Knight is at 28. Like I said, we need to get this to the 30 to get that Dire Bear to last three seconds longer. With the Dire Bear right now, it almost seems like there is no cooldown at all, meaning that it is coming up as soon as one bear is dropping. Um, another is coming up with the plus 30 on him. I think it is going to be the point where the Dire Bear is not going to be down at all. So you're going to have zero downtime, and he does bonus damage in here, guys. He is crazy. And again, every single boss that I have fought with Daniel has done exceptionally well. He has topped the meters every single aspect that, that I've went um, to include the guild bosses. Now, when you throw in the guild bosses, um, it's kind of broken because even in this game mode, someone like the spider where has either the AoE or, or the minions, so a bunch of little minions in here, when he drops that Dire Bear right in there, just crushes it. Absolutely crushes it. And then bosses where you do have um, the bonus from summoners. Again, because he's boosting up other summoners. Guys, he is doing so much damage in these game modes. It is incredible. I am super, super stoked that I built him out, that I'm focusing on summoners. It is going to be my continued focus, guys, as we continue to move forward. So guys, that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the in the um the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.